Okay, so now that we have um, created our login form and um, we can view it now, let's um, create the actions that will handle when we submit this login form. As you can see, when I click on submit, um, it says method not allowed HTTP exception. Okay, so um, let's go back to our um, application here. And apparently that error is being produced because we used a get handler here. So I'll just change that get to post since we are posting to this um, route here and not getting it. Okay, so let's go back to our browser and let me submit. And as you can see, we have a server error because we do not have a method to handle um, this um, handle login here. So let's go to our auth controller and implement that method. So um, we're going to do a function. This is just a Atom helper that quickly helps you create a new function. So we're going to name the function handle login and it's going to accept one parameter called request of type request that is. And um, inside the method implementation, we're going to first get the data from the form which has been submitted. And we're going to get that from the request variable and we're going to say we want only the email and the password. Okay, so that is stored in the data variable. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to log in. So Laravel provides a class called auth, um, and it has a function called attempt. And um, what you pass to attempt is an array which has the key, keys of your email and password so that you can log in. Okay, so that creates a session for you, that current user, if it exists in the database. So we're just going to pass in data in there. And um, if login was successful, this um, pass returns a true. So that will run what is inside this if block here. So we're going to return, we're going to redirect to that user's home page. So we say redirect. Um, and this is a helper that Laravel also provides. And it's basically the same thing as doing a redirect to or redirect route. Okay. But. Um, we're not going to use that we're going to use the shorthand helper and we want to redirect to the intended um, directory sorry the intended route that we wanted to go to first and um, if that doesn't exist we want to go to the home route but we haven't created that yet but we will soon okay let's do a return and um, if that fails that is um, our login attempt was not successful we want to return back so basically Laravel also provides another helper here back which um, just returns us back to the form with that we were viewing in this case that login form and we want to um, return with input there so that the username is pre-filled okay so in here instead of returning arms um, to the home route since we haven't created it let's just say return is logged in so we see that in the browser all right so let's go to our browser and um, if you remember we have a user already called Lamin with a username of email of Lamin at Laravel. So we're going to pre-fill that Lamin at Laravel and um, the password is Lamin as well. So I'm going to submit that. Now as you can see we are, we are properly logged in and it says it's logged in. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a route called home and um, we are also going to create a view to handle that route right so when a user is logged in what we want to do is show them their home page or their profile page whichever it is so let's go to our routes file here and inside the web middleware group we're going to create another route we're going to call it route get and the URL is slash home and the route will be called um, home and it uses the users controller, which have, we haven't created yet. And it uses the home function there, or action, whichever you want to call it. Okay, um, so we have to put a users key here. All right, so next what we want to do is create this users controller. So let's go to our terminal, PHP artisan, make controller. And um, the name of the controller is users controller. And uh, we want to specify that it is a resource. Okay, so we press enter and um, it says we have an error on line 33 of the routes. Let's go and fix that. Right, I forgot to put a colon here, a semicolon. Now let's try that once more. And 
and we have an error so I think we needed two dashes here all right so that has created the controller successfully so we'll go to our controllers folder here and as you can see users controller which didn't exist and it created all these methods for us because we put in the um, resource flag here all right so, but uh, we do not need all these for now what we need is another function call home okay so we're going to create one call home which doesn't access any parameters and um, all it needs to do is return the view um, call users dot home which lives in the users folder all right but um, one thing if you notice that um, we only want the user to be able to access this um, route here when they're logged in so we're going to specify a middleware of art right so let's do that um, so the middleware will be called art basically all that is saying is only access uh, allow access to this route here or URL when the user is logged in all right we're going to um, showcase that that's the case so this middleware will be applied to everything inside here and um, this middleware will also be applied only to this one route all right so now let's go and create the view for home so um, let's create a folder called users inside the view folder here and we create a view called home so home.blade.php and um, what that's going to do is it's going to extend um, our master layout so extends layouts.master right next um, if you remember we have to create a section called content and end section and inside the section there all we need is just a h3 to say that um, home page for user and um, in laravel when a user is logged in you can get access to the currently logged in user by um, calling the user method on auth class um, if you remember that was what we use to log in our user so all you need to do is call auth user and then we can get uh, whatever property uh, we need from that um, class all right in this case name so um, let's go to our browser now and um, if you remember we need to log in here so I'll just go to the login um, route and I'll refresh that and we're going to try to log in again so lamin at laravel.com so um, type in the password lamin and now when I submit it says is logged in um, let's um, remove that from our controller now so um, in the odd controller instead of saying return is logged in we're going to just return a redirection back to the home route which is what we have created here okay so try once again back here refresh uh, lamin at laravel.com so we type in lamin here submit as you can see home page for user lamin okay so that um, shows that we are currently logged into um, our application all right so i thank you guys for watching this video and um, in the next video we're going to implement how to log out a user i uh, thank you for watching i will see you soon bye bye